know you know the elephant in the room, that the freeway's right there. There are other options, better options. Uh, I think that that's a process that's still underway in terms of, uh, of whether or not there would be the possibility of extending the freeway. I think there are lots of folks who know uh, that there's not been a very positive history of extending uh, interstate systems through the core uh, of urban communities, especially when you already have an existing loop system that is being evaluated and could be upgraded. Uh, and for uh, this city to put on pause the efforts to regrow, to repopulate the core of it, waiting for that decision, one, to be made, and then two, uh, for the funding for that to some point show up. A number that at this point is estimated to be well over six, seven hundred million dollars. By the time it's all said and done, could be well over a billion. And that when you evaluate it within the context of what the other transportation priorities would be for Shreveport and Northwest Louisiana, would probably rank behind other things like uh, the I-69 uh, system being constructed and other things that would ultimately end up having a much greater and larger benefit from an economic standpoint uh, as well as from a development standpoint. Study numbers out Study numbers out showing it's a, coming through here is a $400 million impact over the loop system. That's a huge amount of money. Is there another route around here where you wouldn't have to tear this down in 10 or 12 years? Well, I'm in the process right now of actually reading and reviewing those economic numbers because what you are asking me to believe when you say that that is a $400 plus million dollar advantage, that one interchange being built uh, at Ford Street has the potential to be able to result in almost a billion dollars worth of economic impact and benefit for Shreveport or for Allendale, I find that very hard to believe. And I think that's something that I'm in the process of reviewing. That information was just recently shared with us by the Providence Group just uh, at the last meeting of the Metropolitan Planning Organization. Uh, I doubt that those numbers uh, actually are credible and reliable, but I'm going to reserve uh, final judgment until I've had a chance to fully get inside of them. Uh, because what you're talking about here is the construction of one interchange on a three-mile stretch of interstate that would go from Murphy Street to MLK Drive. And, and the idea, uh, exactly, right. elevated, which has the potential to obviously have a very deleterious impact uh, on the quality of life within this neighborhood, would take out lots of housing, lots of uh, churches and what have you. And you're talking about one exit, one interchange, Let's look at the existing system right now and see where that benefit has come about uh, within other parts of our transportation system throughout this region. So I understand uh, that there are lots of folks who believe that this is something that needs to take place. I say let's reserve judgment uh, until the actual studies, that phase one that's underway right now. Uh, let's wait uh, for that final evaluation to be done. Let's wait for the information about the, the looping scenario uh, to be done as well. Uh, and then let's determine whether or not it actually makes sense to do that. Uh, and then also, uh, if it does end up being that, yes, this is something that needs to happen, let's evaluate that within the context of what the other transportation needs are for this region that may end up being a much higher priority than building three miles through the core of our inner city. Folks that say, and you heard it, I'm sure, that these folks are building here just so they get more money for this when they have to tear it down. What's your reaction to that? I think that those are folks who are obviously have already made up their minds, have come up with a final decision of, in terms of what they think and, and don't believe uh, that a larger priority and a larger consideration for at least the next several decades should be our efforts to bring people back to Allendale, back to Queensboro, back to Lakeside, back to Ledbetter Heights, who don't see that there's already been a significant amount of investment that has been made within this area right now the five, six million dollars spent at the municipal auditorium, the 14 million dollars spent at Millennium Studios in the heart of Ledbetter Heights, the fact that you've got investment at Oakland Cemetery, you've got other things that are being done right here within downtown that are bringing people back to the core of this city, giving us a chance to be able to grow in a smart way where we're not just building interstates and continuing to build track housing off of the next exit. That's the way we've done things for a very long time. It's given us a city that's still about the same size in terms of number of people, but geographically, we've gone from under 100 square miles to almost 130 square miles, and it doesn't make any sense to try and continue to stand that up and sustain it because it's not very smart. You're for an inner city connector if it's feasible and if you can continue to have this project here. Is that, well, is that accurate? Well, no, I'd have to balance that okay. uh, against what it means in terms of building an interstate system to the core uh, of our city. If you look at the history of the interstate system, obviously it's been a 
great value and great benefit to our country. It's also done a great deal of damage to a lot of areas where it has gone right through the middle and the core of poor and urban neighborhoods. In fact, you now have numerous examples throughout lots of cities where they say, yes, we still need the interstate system to connect us to other cities, to other regions, but we also now want to go back and reclaim our downtown. We want to reclaim our urban core. So you have examples of cities that have actually moved the interstate system outside that urban region, outside of that urban core, uh, and opened it back up for the development of people to come back and have surface level streets where you can actually have a real community that's not bisected by the interstate system. Appreciate you being on. Thank you Thank so you much. much. Appreciate All it. Right. Take care.